PTC MathCAD Prime 8.0 was just released, so I downloaded it, installed it, I've been playing around with it. There's a lot of neat functionality. First, let's take a look at some of the usability enhancements because these are things that I can benefit from every day. First off, you've always been able to use the middle mouse button to roll up and down on a worksheet page. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, you've got the controls down in the bottom right hand corner, but now you can hold down the control key and use your scroll wheel in order to zoom in and zoom out of your worksheet. And every single click of the scroll wheel corresponds to 5% of zoom in and zoom out. So that's really neat. Also, right now I have a number of different tabs open. It used to be that if you wanted to close the active tab, you would have to click on a little X button that was all the way on the right hand side of the bar that contains all the different tabs. Now each of the tabs has their own little X if you want to close that tab. In addition, with each of the different tabs, let's say I click on this tab over here, you can hold down the right mouse button and you will get a pop-up menu with a number of different commands. First off, if you have disabled calculations, well, here's where you can recalculate the sheet. Also, you have a close command with a flyout. You can close this tab, all tabs, all the other tabs, tabs to the left, tabs to the right, or the unchanged tabs. And then you can move your current tab to the start or the end, copy the full file path, open the folder that contains this worksheet, print, and also save as. And with the tabs, you can also drag them around. So for example, if I want to drag this tab over to the end, I can do that. Here, I'll grab this other tab and move it to the other side. Now that we're on the MathCAD Prime 8 tab that I have open, let's take a look at some of the application functionality. First, if I go to the calculation tab, we now have the ability to display warnings on redefinition of different objects. If you click on the little flyout, you can control what you get warnings for. So for the different built-in MathCAD functionality, you can specify if your built-in functions, units, constants, or variables are redefined. For your different user-defined functionality, you can choose if your functions, scalar variables or vectors and matrices are redefined and by default i think variables is turned off so you might want to change that also one big thing to note took me a moment to figure this out this is actually not just a drop down this is a button that enables the warning functionality so you have to click it if you want to get those redefinition warnings for example here I have one of the built-in variables for C. Let's say I try to redefine it. Well, if I type in C and then the definition operator and make this equal to a number and then move over, this is going to be fine because the original C is a constant, but this is a variable. Let's say that I go over to the math tab, I can click next to that variable and I can change its label from a variable to a constant. And then when I click outside, you'll notice that we get this little green box around the C indicating that we have redefined our constant. Now let's say that I take that same one and I'm going to make this equal to pi. Let me use control G to change that to the number. And then I'm going to make this variable C equal to two times and I'll choose one of the other built-in variables H and then move it over you'll notice now that we have this as a variable we're getting this little green box as the warning upon redefinition and if you actually click on it here it tells us hey this expression redefines a previously defined variable so now you have those different warnings if you don't want to see those warnings just go to the calculation tab 
turn off the redefinition warnings, and you no longer have those little green boxes around your different variables or functions. Next up, you now have a partial derivatives operator. Let me click on the worksheet here. And I'm just going to use the equality operator like I was documenting my calculations. Let's go to the math tab and then from the operators command down here is the partial derivative. And I'll click on it and we get it in the worksheet. And I'm going to do the partial derivative with respect to little t time of big T. I'm doing the heat equation. And this I'm going to make equal to using control equals. This is going to be equal to the constant C times. And if I want to use that partial derivative operator, the keyboard shortcut is control D. Let me just show that to you. If we go to the operators here, if I hover over it, you can see that we can use the control D shortcut. Let me go down over here and then control D. So I get the partial derivative. And this is going to be with respect to x. And I want to have the second partial derivative. And so you can go all the way up to the fifth partial derivative. But in this case, I'm going to use 2. And you'll notice that I get 2 up at the top as well. And then let's put in our big T for temperature up there. And so that way, we're using the partial derivatives in the heat conduction equation. The next one I'm not going to show you because I am not the biggest expert on symbolic evaluation, but there's a lot of different functionality that was expanded for the stuff that you have in here. You have a few different modifiers. So for example, there are now modifiers for N fact and O fact, and those are used in conjunction with Fourier transforms. But again, a lot of functionality was done in here. I can't explain it to you. And let's see, oh, another thing, if I go to the constants over here, like I was using earlier, a bunch of these constants have been updated with the latest NIST definitions. Hey, who knew that a bunch of these different physical constants were actually updated? Well, they were updated by these different governing authorities, so the values have been updated inside of MathCAD Prime. Let's see, for the next one to show you, let's go down here where I have the different combo box input controls. Here I have a matrix, and the matrix just it has four different columns, three different rows, and it's got some different material properties. Back in MathCAD Prime 7.0, the combo box control was added to allow you to change the selection of certain inputs and that would update different variables. Let me show you again how that is used. Here I have a vector with different symbols in here for density and Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. I'm going to position my mouse. Let me get it in here. Try to get it to the right hand side. I'm just using the right arrow just so that now that I'm on the right hand side of the vector I can use the definition operator the control equals, and this is going to be equal to the combo box. And in the combo box, I can start typing in different things in here. So for example, this is going to be for material, and then I can put in my first value here for steel. And you always had the ability, or when it was introduced in MathCAD Prime 7, you had the ability to copy and paste from a matrix into the combo box, but you could do that for single values. Now you can copy and paste for multiple values. So before I start filling in anything over here, let me go up to this one. You'll notice I'm getting the red box indicating that I have a warning, but I'm going to highlight a bunch of the different elements of this matrix. Let me go to the math tab and copy those. Now I'll go back to my combo box input control, right click on it and choose edit, and let's position right down here. Now I can paste those values in using the paste icon or the keyboard shortcut. You can also right click down here and choose paste, and now pasted those values in there. I'm still getting errors because I don't have the necessary labels. Let's put 
aluminum. And then for the one down there, this is going to be titanium. And so now, when I click over here, the material selected is titanium. Let's evaluate the density row, R, control G. This is going to be equal to 4.5. If I change the combo box to steel, row changes to 7.8. If I change to aluminum, row changes to 2.7. So now you can do that copy and paste of multiple elements from a matrix into your combo box. Let me go over to a, another worksheet, and in this worksheet here, let's say that you want to put a frame around different elements of the worksheet, or actually different parts of the worksheet. If I am clicked, let me click right in the main body, I can go to the Documents tab, and here we have a new option to show a frame. And now it puts a frame around my main body where I have my different calculations. And this frame will also print out if you were to print your worksheet. So it's a nice way to put, you know, a little, little graphical control around your calculations. Let me go to my header, and similarly with the header and the footer, you can show a frame around that portion as well. Let me turn off the header. And so that way you have your different frames on here. Hey, if you don't want to have the frame in the main body, let's turn off the option to show the frame. But I think I like that. I think I'm going to end up using this a lot, especially in my reports. I like the way that it looks. So those are a number of different enhancements. One thing also that I noticed, I'm not sure if this was in Creo 7 or just was added in Creo 8, when you install your MathCAD Express, any functionality that isn't available in the Express version is now going to have a little lock icon to indicate that it is not available. And if you hover your mouse over one of those locks or click on one of those locks, it's going to open up a little window that will explain that the functionality is locked and how to get it. So there you have it, a bunch of great new enhancements in MathCAD Prime 8.0. Download it and try it today.